All right, going over the switches inside the cab. So here we have the agent. We have yellow is foam, blue, water, purple is dry chem. And if you want to activate these switches, you have to hold them down there, momentary switches. So you can't just do that and activate it. You'll have to hold it down, blink and light up. So if you want to disengage, you just press down. And that's that. Here's the windows. Of course, right, left, uh, you have your generator. Um, kick that on, you're going to want to have the compartment open uh, if you are running this generator. But to turn that on, you just press that up. And then these two switches here are the pole lights on top of the truck. And they have to be, um, the generator has to be running for these to work. This is just showing you that they are switched to, to run once the generator is running. First, you just push those down. Um, this right here will let you know if any of the, the uh, compartments are open. And this right here is for those pole lights I was just talking about. It will let you know if those poles are up in the air. That way you don't run it into the bay, put it back up or whatnot. Uh, down here we have the deluge. So when you're pumping water, um, I'll go ahead and I think you might actually be able to let that go without pumping water. Yeah. So if you're uh, up next to a real hot fire or whatever, you want to put that deluge on, it keeps you kind of cool. Here's the undercarriage. Um, that's the under truck nozzles there. Uh, this is your, your primary attack line, secondary. To activate those, once they're fully deployed, you will hit those switches from in here and that'll charge the lines. Um, here we have all of our lights. Uh, I stated up here that the generator has to be running for these two lights and it only uh, is necessary for these lights. All these lights you can turn on and off without the generator running. You have overhead lights, the light from the front, side, and uh, the sides on the bottom as well. Um, okay, so uh, the turrets. We have a roof turret which is controlled here and you're going to see where it's pointed on this screen here. Uh, and then we also have your primary in this truck, which is the bumper turret. And you can see there's a little difference here. You have the auxiliary agent and that's going, um, it's, it's talking about the dry cam. So you don't need to mess with that unless you're wanting to, to shoot dry cam. Um, on these, on these uh, joysticks you have the water switch on and off. You have high and low flow up and down and you can change your, your, your uh, pattern from a straight stream to a fog pattern. And of course it's the same on this as well. Um, these switches down here are exactly the same. Uh, there's, all, there's an extra switch over here and that, um, if you look here, lowers and raises the bumper turret. You have a stow and a deploy switch here. So if I hit this uh, deploy switch, it's going to go ahead and put it into position. Okay. Of course, if you want to stow it, just hit stow. Puts it right back. And you can stop that at any time by just moving the, the joystick here. Um, of course, it's the same for the roof turret and it shows it right here where it's going and that's deployed stowed and it has an oscillate as well both of these have oscillates so if you turn that oscillate on you can see it start oscillating so I'm gonna go ahead and stow it now once it gets stowed I'll show you how to uh, in a fire situation to go ahead and, and spray water and whatever else we need to do so so now that it's stowed, I pull up on a fire scene. I'm gonna go ahead and engage the water pump. I would I would do the foam if necessary too. Right now, uh, I'm not gonna do that. And go ahead and deploy it. And once it gets into position wherever I want it, I can turn the water on. Right now we are on low flow. Blinking light is low flow. Solid light is high flow. 
So, on a high flow. didn't want to just keep the water on you can use this, this trigger right here once you let off it stops pressing it goes 